Je faisais la musique pour moi. It's a matter of time and place. By being at the right place at the right time. I was born and raised in Texas. I came to New York when I was 22. So I guess I was like 25. She was 17, 18. I remember putting it together in my apartment, and it was, I guess, early 90s. Je crois que c'était peut-être 90 ou 88. My life had been really, really uh, interesting. Are you going to pay me to do what? And I was like, wow. There was a very big walk-in closet, so I built a studio in that closet. My husband was a recording engineer. À 17 ans, j'étais très fier. Je me suis offert mon premier instrument, qui était un synthétiseur. I had to just imagine the music. Spiritual music. Loner, psych, emo, or philosophical ideas about life. Acid folk, you know, there was there weren't those terms back then. I had a little label and we released it was called Closet Records. We made 150 copies. It was called a turntable hit. It never did well in sales. I guess you would say, for a lot of people, it would be an acquired taste. Quand je faisais de la musique, ce qui m'intéressait, c'était essayer de trouver quelque chose qui soit juste. Ça c'est pas dans le sens juste techniquement ou juste au niveau des accords, mais juste en ayant l'impression que que ça colle complètement à mon sentiment. Voilà, au moment où je le fais. All of music to me is an exploration. I think that's what music, the best music does, is it pulls you in for whatever it is, two or three minutes. Me, I use music to go somewhere, you know, and look for a place that is new to me. And it's a, a song that's kind of about memory, too, so it has that kind of dreamy feel. You travel through memories. I couldn't stop thinking about it. The, everybody was telling me I had a tear in my voice. I don't do happy songs very well. And I'm like, no, 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 man, it's a song. You know what I'm saying? It's a song. It's not my life. He was driving on the freeway and that song came on and he had to pull off the road because you know like it, it broke him down and i remember being utterly moved to tears and i don't and i don't but i don't know why when i listen to those songs it's almost as if somebody else wrote them it's like i do not do good bad or any of that stuff anymore. Somebody said, why do you, you know, do this? And he said, to stay off of pharmaceuticals. I am right now flying around the room. There were big plans uh, that didn't pan out at the time. Oh, he wasn't around much longer after that. God's will for me includes death. Death is the price of life and it's very expensive and everybody pays. People who are sort of more the uh, outcasts of society just tend to tell it like it is. <laughs>